Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a happy holidays, if it was the holidays. And yes, I ate a lot of Thanksgiving, a lot of turkey, and oh man, I'm stuffed. I can't eat anymore for like a couple days at least. Alright, so in this video, we're going to talk about some of my top world of vacuums. I know we're ending 2020 and starting 2021, and I want to talk about some of these crazy models I've reviewed, and some that really just put a mark on my map. Alright, so on this channel, I reviewed, I believe, 42 different models, some that you could have, like the Roblox S6 Max V, also like Samsung, you heard of Neato, iRobot, um, you heard of Prusinic, all those brands that a lot of people have heard of, especially the Roblox series. Now, there's some models that I've reviewed, like the Kyval, the a person and the Vivon. Have you even heard of the Vivon? Yes, these products you've probably not heard of, but I had a chance to review this on the channel as well. So if you're the type of person that has like a one bedroom apartment or you live in a dormitory, well, maybe you don't need the most expensive world vacuum today or the most features. Okay, so I got my fancy smartphone here and the first recommendation for a small floor plan is the iLife A4S. I did have a chance to review this and I had to compete with the other models in the same class under 150 bucks, but this guy is really, really good. Uh, don't take my word for it. This thing has over 3,900 reviews uh, and they're mostly positive but what makes this guy so great is it offers a lot of great functionality like the spot cleaning function at 2000 pascals now on its regular mode it goes down to about 1500 pascals but still at 1500 pascals it's enough to cover both um, hardwood floors and mostly carpets as well but what makes this guy so special is the easy to use operation it just has a single button on top also has a remote control and I really like the virtual wall boundary so you don't have to uh, fit around with magnetic strips you just put it down and it creates an invisible beam, very similar to like the Roomba series. So this is a really good product and it looks like it is on sale for 130 bucks. So for someone with a smaller floor plan or someone that just wants a secondary roll up vacuum maybe for the basement or for the single room, the iLife A4S Pro is not a bad option. Okay, let's go ahead and jump back in here and let's talk about the all-time favorite roll up vacuum. It was originally the Roblox S5 Max, now it's the S6 Max V. Let me go ahead and jump into that one really quick. Looks like the Roblox S6 Max V is on sale as well at $599 for the Black Friday special. But what's so great about this guy is it offers 2500 pascals of suction. Also the battery life is really really long. Um, one unique thing about the S6 Max V is that butt facing camera. So it allows you to recognize obstacles. So if you have a very messy household, maybe a lot of pets, or you have a young kid with a lot of toys, this is a good option. Uh, Roblox has been constantly updating the database to recognize more and more objects. So currently it recognizes like shoestrings, U-shaped shoelace, also it recognizes bathroom scales, but over time it should recognize more and more objects. And also, if you like, you do have the option to do a live video stream as well on this camera here. So if you're away, you can actually interact with your pet or check up on your house via your smartphone. So this roll of vacuum does offer a lot of great features and it uses the signature uh, upgraded side brush here and the extractor bar, which is combination style. So the S6 Max V is designed for medium to large style homes. Also, it's one of the best navigating roll up vacuums today. I have found that the app integration is pretty good. It's probably one of the best I've seen. Um, it's not perfect. There could be some works. And also, there's some weird uh, extractor bar error quirks. Um, on my personal experience, uh, it only shuts down temporarily and then it resumes cleaning on like higher threshold carpets. But um, some people say that the extractor bars actually stop all the way, but I am looking into this and I'm talking to Roblox to see if they can come up with a patch update. But overall, the S6 Max V is a really good roll of vacuum if you want all the bells and whistles and if you're looking for a very efficient roll of vacuum cleaner. And feel free to check out that video as well. I have covered a lot of videos on the S6 Max V. Alright, so now let's go and talk about self emptying. Yes, so I just Recently covered the Kyvo S31, but my top recommendation for a roll-up vacuum with a self-emptying bin is actually two models. The Vax T8, there's actually two versions. This is a T8 AIVI and a T8 non-AIVI. The non-AIVI actually uses a 3D laser system to recognize objects. The optical recognition is actually pretty good. And now the AIVI uses optical recognition or a camera-based system. I found that to be pretty good as well. Um, one nice thing about the AIVI version is you do have live streaming capabilities, like on the S6 Max V, so you can check up on your pets, and you can send your voice over to the robot vacuum so it speaks to your pet as well. So if you like that type of features, well, I would definitely get the AIVI uh, robot vacuum. Okay, so the plus just means it comes with the self emptying bin out of the box, and also the pro means it just comes with the vibrating mopping module out of the box. 
both these models do uh, work with either accessories and you can go on digital facts website and you can buy the 500 mopping module for probably $99 or yeah I think that's the price and also the self emptying bin for about 150 if I'm not mistaken okay so yes the Ecofax T8 is on sale and you can either get the Plus model, the Pro model, or you can get the AIVI model or the non avi Alright, so my next recommendation is the Roomba i3 Plus. I did have a chance to review this model as well. Uh, the Roomba i3 Plus offers a lot of great functionality as it's more expensive model at a cheaper price point. And it looks like currently it's on sale for $399. I think this is one of the best deals to date for a raw vacuum. The i3 Plus uses gyro and accelerometers, but I did find that the navigation is pretty good for this type of navigation. Also, the self emptying bin is top notch. It's the same design as the i7 Plus and S9 Plus self emptying bin, so it can handle a lot of dirt and debris. Also, this guy does have the dirt sensor, so it can go back and empty itself when the dustbin is full. So, the i3 Plus is a really good option if you're a type of person that has a larger floor plan, also isn't too uh, messy, or you don't physically move the robot. Because if you do move the robot, it could get confused. The thing with the i3 Plus is you don't get the smart mapping features like the room select or keyboard zone. So, let me show you the next model. The next model from the Roomba lineup is the i7 or i7 Plus. The Plus just means it comes with the self lifting bin out of the box. Uh, I really find that these guys are really good, and it looks like they're on sale as well. Um, the i7 Plus has the iAdapt 3.0 system, so yes, you do get room select, area select, and you can also do keyboard zone via the app. Whereas on the i3 Plus, you do have to use the little virtual wall boundaries, which is included with the i3 Plus, if I don't mistake it. Okay, so yes, those are the two best self lifting models out there, both iRobot and Ecofax. Okay, let's go and uh, keep going. Alright, so the next big thing is mopping. Some of these robot vacuums can mop and vacuum simultaneously, but there's some dedicated mopping robots that I recommend. Let's go and uh, check it out. Right, so the best performing mopping robot is the Bravo Jet M6. I have done a lot of tests with this guy, and I found out that the navigation is really good. Also, the dedicated mopping powder does better with the dirt grimes over like a, a traditional hybrid style vacuum cleaner. iRobot does sell its own cleaning solution, also has a sprayer up front. The mopping pad is up front, so it doesn't get the sturdy stick grime on the wheels. And it is disposable mopping pads, which is one nice option, or you can go ahead and buy washable mopping pads as well. Uh, there is an app control for this guy, and also works with imprint link, so it does work with its uh, bigger buttons, also has spark app control. So yes, the Bravo Jet M6 is one of the most capable and best performing mopping robots Today. Okay, so if you're looking for wet mopping, I really haven't had a chance to do a lot of wet mopping robots, but the iLife W400 did a really good job picking up wet spills, so if you spill some juice or some coffee, definitely look into the W400 because it does have a dedicated clean water tank and a uh, separate dirty water tank. Okay, let's talk about the best hybrid uh, mopping system I've seen today. Uh, it's not the S6 Max V, I know, craziness. Let's jump back into here. Hybrid bopping robot is the Roblox S5 Max. Why did I not choose the S6 Max? Well, I think for the price point, the S5 Max has a lot going for it. Also, it's been around for a while, so it has a lot of refined software updates. But I really like the design of the S5 Max. It was one of my favorite world vacuums of all time. And you do have the option to do white or black or high end features like 2000 Pascal's Bio Navigation, all the spot mapping features. And yes, this guy is on sale and you can choose between black or white. So it's a really nice option. And I found that the mopping system is really good for being a hybrid for a vacuum. Um, another option is the Vioma V3, but I haven't had a chance to test that on my channel. But I did view the Vioma V2, which had the wide mopping pattern. Some of these world vacuums do have a wide mopping pattern. And unfortunately, the S5 Max doesn't. All right, well, that was just a quick rundown of my top favorite world vacuums uh, for this channel. The S6 Max V, the S5 Max, the Bravo Jet M6 for the DK mopping robot, the iLife W400 for a wet mopping system. Also, I did recommend the iLife A4S12 if you want something simpler. That option is a pretty simple, easy to use world vacuum. And of course, the iRobot Roomba series has the best self emptying bin, either the i3 Plus or like the i7 Plus. Now, if you want to splurge on some money, the S9 Plus is a good option, but I think the i7 Plus offers a lot of the great features for a cheaper price point than over the S9 Plus. Alright, I hope that helps with the, uh, your robot backing choices. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me down a comment. I'll be more than happy to help you nail know, down a product for you or a robot backing that's perfect for your home. Alright, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time.